This is the day royal fans have been waiting for. The newest member of the British royal family is here. That's right. Meghan Markle gave birth to a baby boy this morning, and Prince Harry came out to make the announcement himself. Very excited to announce that uh, Meghan and myself had a baby boy um, early this morning. A very healthy boy. Um, mother and baby are doing incredibly well. Well, that baby weighed in at seven pounds, three ounces. Still no name as of right now. And even though it was first announced on their Instagram, Britain's unofficial town crier also announced the birth. Tony Appleton is that town crier, and he was the center of attention near Windsor Castle today. As he shared the news, he's been showing up uninvited to major royal events since 2013. And at Buckingham Palace, this long-standing palace tradition, a small framed typed announcement welcoming the royal baby, it was placed on that elaborate golden easel. A long life and a happy life, and bring them together, having their first child, a happy, happy baby boy, and a happy mother, and of course, happy Harry. We just had a baby eight months ago, so it's very exciting news, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's good for the country. Yeah. It's good for the country. And there is certainly a lot of excitement about the baby here mm -hmm. in Los Angeles. That's Meghan Markle's hometown. That's right. NBC4's Angie Crouch is live in Santa Monica at a British gift shop. Hey, Angie. That's right. You know, it's not every day that Los Angeles has a direct connection to a royal baby. But as you said, this one's extra special because Meghan Markle was born and raised right here in Los Angeles. So today here at Santa Monica's Ye Old King's Head, the British pub and gift shop, take a look at how they're celebrating. They've got lots of balloons welcoming the new royal baby. We've got some banners with the royal couple on them. And if you take a look just inside the store today, you're going to see a life-size cardboard cutup of the royal family with a sign congratulating them on their brand new baby boy. It's a day of celebration at Southern California's most popular British gift shop. Today, <laughs> Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, announced Thanks, he and LA native Duchess Meghan Markle are the proud new parents of a baby boy. The most amazing experience. The long-awaited news is being broadcast inside the store as customers are treated to freshly baked shortbread cookies decorated with blue frosting and the couple's royal monogram. It's fantastic. It's a boy. So it's great. It's super exciting. I'm super happy for the couple. The store's manager says they've been preparing for this day for months and have a sign-up sheet if you want to be first in line to buy some royal baby merchandise. We have a lot of things that we pre-ordered, like tea towels and mugs and spoons and different things that are going to have the baby's name on it. But we have to wait, obviously, till today, till they can put the gender in the name. So within like the next 10 days or so, we should have a lot of merchandise. Megan's mother, who still teaches yoga on L.A.'s west side, is with the royal family at Frogmore Cottage and is said to be overjoyed at the arrival of her first grandchild. But it's Harry's mother, Princess Diana, who's on a lot of minds today. I always think of her. I remember the day she died. It was so sad, and I stayed up all night and watched television and yeah yeah she would have been real proud of him you may remember this on the day of the royal wedding students at Meghan Markle's former high school Immaculate Heart in Los Feliz held a big celebration today they're busy with AP exams but did issue a statement congratulating the couple whose love story has captivated people all around the world I think they're going to be good parents because I think they're caring and they seem to be very much in love and the British pub next door is celebrating today with blue mixed cocktails. And on Wednesday, when the baby's name is expected to be announced, they're going to have a special celebratory tea from 11 to 4. Take a look over here. We've still got some of those short bed cookies, but they are going fast. So if you want one, you better get down here quick. <laughs> We're live in Santa Monica. Angie Crouch, NBC4 News. All right, Angie, appreciate it. Thank you. And it's just after midnight in London, and some of the city's iconic landmarks are lit up to celebrate the arrival. The London Eye, London Bridge, and other skyscrapers, either bathed in blue or lit up in the colors of the British flag, all to welcome the baby boy. And the new baby is now seventh in line for the throne. Prince Charles is first, followed by Prince William and his children, then Prince Harry.